you enter into God, you discover there are many dimensions. The angelic realm reveals to us the multifaceted dimensions of God. So when Michael shows up, you see the strength of God. And if you see Michael, you think God is all about power. Until Gabriel shows up. And then when Gabriel talks, he uncovers mysteries that were locked for many generations. And then you now discover there's a dimension called wisdom. And there are many of such dimensions. There are angels that appear as light. There are those that appear as, as flames of fire. All of these things are locked there. When you come, the spirit opens his oracles to you. And then he tells you your inheritance is this dimension. Take it and go and build it on earth. So that the sons of men can be discipled after this order. So when the spirit comes, he said, His glory will fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. So if you come to a nation, you now see different tributaries of that spirit. So the nation from a, a, a high pedestal becomes the, the, the display of the possibilities that are locked up in that spirit. So if you look upon Israel, for example, it's a, a, a display of the multifaceted dimensions of God. So when Issachar shows up, he begins to, to talk about mysteries that only spirits understand. He tells you, don't go this way tomorrow, go like this. And then you are saying, no, the road is here. He said, no, there's no road here. You are seeing the road, but Issachar is seen from another plane. And when you wake up in the morning, a log of wood have blocked this road. So if you were wise, you would have traveled in this direction. So when you look at that, that is a dimension of that spirit. It was an architectural work that a man who entered into God pioneered. So the reason the spirit seduces you is to bring you to a place where you can pioneer his ways. You can pioneer his life. You can pioneer his wisdom so that a generation can be formed after that order. That is the first thing the spirit desires of you to be wooed to him. Because if you receive intelligence from another spirit, it will become corruption. And in order to ensure that you will do that thing for a long time, the spirit will give you laws. Those laws are your consecration requirement of perfecting the will of that spirit. So sometimes a spirit wants you to become a, a prophet. And then it brings you a body for one year. It's a prayer in the night. Meanwhile, that prayer in the night for one year is so that you can hit a prayer quota of 10,000 hours before you break into the energy level of the prophetic. So your one year can become 10 years because the, the 10,000 10, prayer quota, you may, you may deliver it for one year and you may choose to deliver it for 10 years. So every week you wake up, you say, Kai, oh boy, I'm tired this night, oh, you know easy. <laughs> what? You have increased your wilderness days. Ah, my brother. No, I'll continue next week. Or you now wake up. Ah, you see a pretty lady. You now follow her for three weeks. After three weeks, you go for dinner with her. And then you come back after four months. You say, Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. And you think you are outsmarting God. That you are sorry, he will forgive you. But the problem is that there is 10,000 hours that must be covered. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are wise when you look upon the damsel you now go back to that spirit and say help my eyes help my eyes these eyes wants to rob me of my destiny and possibility help my eyes and like Job you will not look upon the damsel because it is taking the time for you to enter into possibilities that are locked up beyond time there are sacred things that only mortals touch. And for you to get there, you must be re-engineered. And what that spirit wants to achieve is to re-engineer you to a point where when men look upon you, you become like the very brightness of the God that is unseen. So he burdens you with consecration requirement. Sometimes you wake up in the morning, it's like a sin to eat food. It's not a sin to eat in the morning, but for you, it's a sin. Because you are joining on a path, there's a mystery that is locked up in Zion, that only your generation should look upon it. And many are traveling on that path. The spirit will keep seducing you because there are certain things that are calculated into divine calendars. And God desires that your generation should look upon it. So he begins to seduce you. When he discovers that you are walking slow, he now says, add fasting. 
when he discovers that your movement is slow he say add night prayer sometimes he discovers that your soul is still attached to things he now begins to give you laws he said give out all your money give out your good clothes and you are struggling meanwhile it's because of clothes the other time that you had to take up a job to boost your wardrobe so instead of wasting that time now say give out clothes give out your clothes when you discover every good clothes you have it tells you to give it out you stop laboring to buy <laughs> empowerment doesn't begin with impartation I'm telling you why some of you who are supposed to become voices in Ghana have not yet been heard the prophet told you five years ago that when you are 22 they will begin to hear you now you are 27 <laughs> instead of you to check your life you are going back to find out is this prophet a true prophet the problem is not with the prophet the problem is with your dealings you are violating your consecration requirement and so long as you violate it the time will be long may god help you to keep the demands so that you don't grow old and your record will be that i gave my life to christ 40 years ago 40 years ago doesn't count in zion get thee out of thy country and i say when men come out then the spirit gives them a dimension that is what encounters does encounters are to bring you into the dimensions that you are supposed to pioneer as an order 